So good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So modern technology today has significantly improved and keeps growing, right, overall than it used to do back then, right, in the overall setting. So this technology is being more used now and portable now than it used to be back then. Like you have nowadays, you have an adolescent or a teen, or you know, even one of us, right, with the newest iPhone or the MacBook, right, or an Android device that has been barely just released, right? Or even like kids sometimes with like kid-based tablets in a restaurant, right, distracting themselves. And as much as I hate to sound like that old back in my day kind of guy, right, um, I have realized that there is some truth in what those old timers were speaking of, right? Have you ever heard of the saying, too much of something is never good for you? Well, to a certain extent, I do agree with that saying in relevance to my topic, that is, which is excessive screen time is harmful to our society and has a harmful impact. I'm sure any of us here have, you know, an iPhone or a smartphone of some sort, right? Well, what if I told you that your relationship with your iPhone and excessive screen time on screen-based TV or any mobile games you may use may have an overall effect on your well-being? Well, according to uh, one of my sources I'd like to quote, Exploring Recreational Time and Social Anxiety in Adolescence by Sarah West, May of June, 2021, she stated that recent research is beginning to explore the relationship between smartphone and social media use with increased prevalence of anxiety and depression in college undergrad students. Now, based on my hours of research and sources for my topic, I have concluded that a lot of these factors derive from excessive screen time and can affect not just you, but maybe a sibling, a loved one, or a friend or a peer. My goal today ultimately is to persuade you that excessive screen time does have a harmful impact on our society and I will do that by explaining to you my three main points. Well, first we'll discover what's, what is excessive screen time, right? Second, I'd like to give you guys a healthy point of view of what makes a healthy society. And third, I'd like to speak of the excessive, ex the excessive effects of screen time that have an actual harmful impact on my reality of what a healthy society is. So first, let's start with what is excessive screen time? Well, it's in the name itself, right? Excessive, meaning more than necessary of use, right? And screen time applying to a lot of the modern technology that we use today, whether it's an iPhone, a tablet, computer, even something like an Apple Watch, right? And some of you may hear the statement and say, okay, well, you know, I understand that, but what is actually deemed normal as a normal screen time use, right? Well, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, quoted by screen-based media and screen time use, assessment by Maha Suita Zubi, it says that it's recommended that all age groups spend no more than two hours a day on any screen based at all. Unfortunately, however, according to the same source, it is said that on average teens, adolescents, and adults, apart from sleeping, spend a maximum hours of seven hours a day on screen based media, which is approximately 49 hours a week, 196 hours a month, and 2,352 hours of screen time a year. In other words, it roughly speaks about 98 days out of the 365 of the year that we spend on this earth. Think about that for a second, right? Well, secondly, I'd like to express my point of view on what makes a healthy society. Well, for starters, obviously, encouraging more face-to-face -face interactions rather than, you know, through screens to build close, genuine relationships rather than online social ones, right? Also, the limited use of recreational screen time, i.e. video games, computers, TV, and encouraging more outdoor physical activities like sports, fishing, camping out, or anything as simple as a walk. Any of those things will promote a more active lifestyle to children, teens, adolescents, and adults, and not to mention also improve their overall physical and mental health. In addition to these improvements, something else you can do rather than, you know, spending time on screen is, you know, inspire to learn yourself a new skill or participate in a community, in an event of some sort, right? And this may not also help just you, but also help anybody else or encourage anyone that may have ideas but not know how to form them due to them being more on screen than, you know, interacting with face to face. Well, finally, I'd like to explain the effects of something as simple as excessive screen time that can have an overall 
ruined expectation of what my point of view of a healthy society is. Well, first and foremost, our sleep. Getting enough sleep is so important, as you all know, right? And excessive screen time ruins the amount and the quality of sleep that you may get if you're using any of your devices at night. I'd like to actually quote one of my sources, can too much screen time harm you? By Scholastic Incorporated 2020. It is stated that the blue light from the screen can reduce the amount of melatonin your body naturally produces. So of course, melatonin, the chemical in your body that helps you fall and stay asleep, the less you have of it, the less it produces, the more you stay up. So, you know, 10 o'clock at night turns to three o'clock in the morning, which is definitely not healthy sleep. Well, secondly, physical disorders derived from excessive screen-based media, right? An example of these are like body dissatisfaction, eating disorders, as well as other psychological factors. Another quote I'd like to quote, um, self-reported self total screen time and viewing modes by Lisa Tang, 2022. She states that research suggests that young adults' perception and satisfaction with their body shape and size are influenced by a number of psychological and sociocultural factors like images of unrealistic and idolized body types for, bo for both men and women in the screens and excessive screen time-based media. And lastly, I'd like to speak about social behavior and mental disorders that derive from excessive screen time and communications on online social media use. So, Modern technology today has made it easier for you to stay in the comfort of your own home while attending school online, working from home, or even virtually hanging out and maintaining relationships with a group of people that you've never met before, like the Facebook metaverse, things like that, right? But the problem with these sort of, this sort of lifestyle is that when it, required, when it removes the requirement to interact with the outside world, in the long run causes more problems than one. An example of this, is another one of my sources of research, which is investigating the relationship with social media addiction and social behavior by Lauren Larson, summer of 2021. She states that initial evidence suggests that the increased use of communication may be detrimental, the online communication, my apologies, may be detrimental and interpersonal relationships, which lead to more peer aggression and relationship apprehension and a lack of psychological well-being and close personal ties that are associated with non-digital communication. So basically saying that the more you spend on something, right, the less that you have to interact and develop actual genuine relationships with people face-to-face -face on face value versus online. And not to mention the more you self-isolate yourself from your screen and avoid face-to-face -face interactions, the more chance you become socially awkward while presented in public interactions, thus leading to feelings of fear, which is social anxiety, right? And of course, hesitation to speak to speak to people on a face-to-face -face interaction value. So, in conclusion, my overall goal was to persuade you that excessive screen time has a harmful impact on our society. And I hope I've done this once again by explaining my three main points. First point being excessive screen time is, you know, more than necessary use of any device. Two, encouraging more face-to-face -face interactions, limiting the use of electronic devices and instead substituting it with outdoor activities to improve overall physical and mental health, as well as taking on maybe a new skill or beginning active in your community to raise overall productivity and creativeness. And finally, how excessive screen time affects your overall sleep, as well as psychological and sociocultural problems with body, dis with like body, body dissatisfaction and mental disorders, as well as the social anxiety increase in human interactions that ruin my expectations of what a healthy society is. I hope you do find this information useful and insightful. And you know, as for me, I have learned to you know put my phone down a little bit less. You know, it's like ten minutes. But you know, I'm getting a little better at it. Hopefully, I'll get to an hour, and you know, two hours, and so on and so forth. That is my speech. Any questions?